26. Census of the New Generation After the plague, the Lord said to Moses and to Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, Take a census of all the congregation of the people of Israel, from twenty years old and upward, by their fathers' houses, all in Israel who are able to go to war. And Moses and Eleazar, the priests, spoke with them in the plains of Moab, by the Jordan at Jericho, saying, Take a census of the people, from twenty years old and upward, as the Lord commanded Moses. The people of Israel who came out of the land of Egypt were Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, the sons of Reuben, of Hanok, the clan of the Hanukites, of Palu, this, the clan of the Paluites, of Hezron, the clan of the Hezronites, of Carmi, the clan of the Carmites. These are the clans of the Reubenites. And those listed were 43,730. And the sons of Palu, Eliab, the sons of Eliab, Nemuel, Dathan, and Abiram. These are the Dathan and Abiram, chosen from the congregation, who contented against Moses and Aaron in the company of Korah, when they contented against the Lord. And the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up together with Korah. When that company died, when the fire devoured 250 men, and they became a warning. But the sons of Korah did not die. The sons of Simeon, according to their clans, of Nemuel, the clan of the Nemuelites, of Jamin, the clan of the Jaminites, of Jashin, the clan of the Jashinites, of Zerah, the clan of the Zerahites, of Shaul, the clan of the Shaulites. These are the clans of the Simeonites, 22,200. The sons of Gad, according to their clans, of Zephon, the clan of the Zephonites, of Haggai, the clan of the Haggites, of Shuni, the clan of the Shuniites, of Ozni, the clan of the Ozniites, of Eri, the clan of the Ariites, of Arad, the clan of the Aradites, of Areli, the clan of the Arelites. These are the clans of the sons of Gad, as they were listed 40,500. The sons of Judah were Er and Onan. And Er and Onan died in the land of Canaan. And the sons of Judah, according to their clans, were Shalah, the clan of the Shalanites, of Perez, the clan of the Perizzites, of Zerah, the clan of the Zerahites. And the sons of Perez were of of Hezron, the clan of the Hezronites, of Hamul, the clan of the Hamulites. These are the clans of Judah as they were listed, 76,500. The sons of Issachar, according to their clans, of Tola, the clan of the Tolaites, of Pavu, or Puva, the clan of the Punites, of Jeshub, the clan of the Jeshubites, of Shimron, the clan of the Shimronites. These are the clans of Issachar, as they were listed 64,300. The sons of Zebulun, according to their clans, of Sered, the clan of the Seredites, of Elon, the clan of the Elonites, of Jal Jalil, the clan of the Jalilite, Jalilites, these are the clans of the Zebulonites, as they were listed, 60,500. The sons of Joseph, according to their clans, Manasseh and Ephraim. Ephraim. The sons of Manasseh, of Machir, the clan of the Machirites, and Machir was the father of Gilead. Of Gilead, the clan of the Gileadites. These are the sons of Gilead of Aizer, the clan of the Aizerites, of Helek, the clan of the Helekites, and of Esriel, the clan of the Esrielites, and of Shechem, the clan of the Shechemites, and of Shemida, the clan of the Shemida, Shemidites, and of Hefer, 
the clan of the Hepharites. Now, Zelophe, now Zelophiadad, no, now Zelophiahad, the son of Hepher, had no sons but daughters. And the names of the daughters of Zelophiahad were Ma Mala, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Tirzah. These are the clans of Manasseh, and those listed were 52,700. These are the sons of Ephraim, according to their clans, of Shuthala, the clan of the Shuthalites, of Becher, the clan of the Becherites, of Tahan, the clan of the Tahanites, and these are the sons of Shuthala, of Iran, the clan of the Aran, Aranites. These are the clans of the sons of Ephraim, as listed, as they were listed, 32,500. These are the sons of Joseph, according to their clans. The sons of Benjamin, according to their clans. Of Bela, the clans, the clan of the Belites, of Ashbel, the clan of the Ashbelites, of Ahiram, the clan of the Ahiramites, of Shef Shefufam, the clan of the Shephamites, of Hufam, the clan of the Hufamites, and the sons of Bela were Ard and Naaman. Of Ard, the clan of the Ardites, of Naaman, the clan of the Naamites. These are the sons of Benjamin, according to their clans. And those listed were 45,600. These are the sons of Dan, according to their clans. Of Shuham, the clan of the Shuhamites. These are the clans of Dan, according to their clans. All the clans of the Shuhamites, as they were listed, were 64,400. The sons of Asher, according to their clans, of Imna, the clan of the Imnites, of Ishvi, the clan of the Ishvites, of Beria, the clan of the Berites, of the sons of Beria, of Heber, the clan of the Heberites, of Malchial, the clan of the Malchialites, and the name of the daughter of Asher was Sarah. These are the clans of the sons of Asher as they were listed, 53,400. The sons of Nephtali, according to their clans, of Jahzeel, the clan of the Jezeelites, of Guni, the clan of the Gunites, of Jezer, the clan of the Jezerites, of Shalim, the clan of the Shalimites, these are the clans of Naphtali according to their clans, and those listed were 45,400. This was the list of the people of Israel, 601,730. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Among these the land shall be divided for inheritance, according to the number of names. To the large tribe you shall give a large inheritance, and to a small tribe you shall give a small inheritance. Every tribe shall be given its inheritance in proportion to its list. But the land shall be divided by lot, according to the names of the tribes of their fathers they shall inherit. Their inheritance shall be divided according to lot, to lot between the larger and the smaller. This was the list of the Levites according to their clans. Of Gershon, the clan of the Gershonites. Of Kohath, the clan of the Kohathites. Of Merari, the clan of the Mer Merarites. These are the clans of Levi. The clan of the Libnites, the clan of the Hebronites, the clan of the Malites, the clan of the Mushites, the clan of the Kor Korahites, and Ko Kohath was the father of Amram. The name of Amram, Amram's wife was Joshebed, the daughter of Levi, who was born to Levi in Egypt. And she bore to Amram Aaron, and Moses and Miriam, their sister. And to Aaron were both Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. But Nadab and Abihu died when they offered unauthorized fire before the Lord. 
and those listed were 23,000, 23,000, every male from a month old and upward, for they were not listed among the people of Israel, because there was no inheritance given to them among the people of Israel. These were, these were those listed by Moses and Eleazar the priest, who listed the people of Israel in the plains of Moab by the Jordan at Jericho. But among these, there was not one of those listed by Moses and Aaron the priest, who had listed the people of Israel in the wilderness of Sinai. For the Lord had said to them, They shall die in the wilderness. Not one of them was left, except Caleb the son of Jephunneh, and Je Joshua the son of Nun. 27. The daughters of Zelophehad. Then drew near the daughters of Zelophehad, the son of Hefer, son of Gileab, son of Machir, son of Manasseh, from the clans of Manasseh, the son of Joseph. The names of his daughters were Mala, Ma, Mala Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Tirzah. And they stood before Moses and before Eleazar the priest and before the chiefs and all the congregation at the entrance of the tent of meeting, saying, Our father died in the wilderness. He was not among the company of those who gathered themselves together against the Lord in the company of Korah, but died for his own sin. And he had no sons. Why should the name of our father be taken away from his clan because he had no sin? Give to us a possession among our father's brothers. Moses brought their case before the Lord, and the Lord said to Moses, The daughters of Zelophehad are right. You shall give them possession of inheritance among their father's brothers, and transfer the inheritance of their father to them. And you shall speak to the people of Israel, saying, If a man dies and has no son, then you shall transfer his inheritance to his daughter. And if he has no daughter, then you shall give his inheritance to his brothers. And if he has no brothers, then you shall give his inheritance to his father's brothers. And if his father has no brothers, then you shall give his inheritance to the nearest kinsman of his clan, and he shall possess it. And it shall be for the people of Israel a statute and rule, as the Lord commanded Moses. Joshua to succeed Moses. The Lord said to Moses, Go up into this mountain of Abiram, Ab Abarim, and see the land that I have given to the people of Israel. When you have seen it, you also shall be gathered to your people, as your brother Aaron was, because you rebelled against my word in the wilderness of Zin, when the congregation quarreled, failing to uphold me as holy at the waters before, b before their eyes. These are the waters of Meribah of Kadesh in the wilderness of Zin. Moses spoke to the Lord, saying, Let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, appoint a man over the congregation, who shall go out before them and come in before them, who shall lead them out and bring them in, that the congregation of the Lord may not be as sheep that have no shepherd. So the Lord said to Moses, Take Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is the spirit, and lay your hand on him. Make him stand before Eleazar the priest and all the congregation, and you shall commission him in their sight. You shall invest him with some of your authority, that all the congregation of the people of Israel may obey. And he shall stand before Eleazar the priest, who shall inquire before him, who shall inquire for him by the Lord by the judgment of the Urim, Urim before the Lord. At his word they shall go out, and at his word they shall come in both he and all the people of Israel with him, the whole congregation. And Moses did as the Lord commanded him. He took Joshua and made him stand before Eleazar the priest and the whole congregation, and he laid his hands on him and commissioned him as the Lord directed Moses, directed through Moses.